Hello, Taurus. The three cluster of cups here are a little bit worrisome, mainly because um, they deal with regret situation. They deal with falling out between, you know, friends, uh, groups, associations, partnerships in love, in business, even family relationships. And I feel that a lot of you might be dealing with a family situation as well because we have the Six of Cups in the reverse position. The Six of Cups does indicate um, somebody that you've had, you know, extensive dealing with and... Um, they did disappoint you, and as a result, the situation itself is irreconcilable. So it is a bit worrisome with this, um, you know, cluster, three cards dealing with cups all in the reverse position. And as well corroborated uh, with this theme where there is a, a change, a structural change within the family, we do have the Ten of Pentacles also in the reverse position. So it does indicate to me that there might be people moving in or out of your household, there might be relocation as well with the chariot, um, which is indicative of travel, um, finding a new place to call home, or traveling back to a prior situation, a prior place that you did um, call home. Okay, so there are definitely people moving in and out of the home environment. It could be you, it could be other people in your family, in your midst. Um, you could also find a subletting situation, so there are definitely a lot of um, transitions happening for this month. But either way, I do feel if you decide to take a trip, if it is a trip that you yourself have um, planned or have you know um, brought to fruition, if it's not a trip regarding you know going back to a, um, go traveling to see like a loved one. A family relationship then that's fine if you are planning to um, take a trip to see like a, a lover to see like a romantic interest I would advise you to really carefully try to squeeze it in the first two weeks rather than the last two weeks because uh, relationship problems can be a little bit problematic the last two weeks of the month if you are planning a trip and it has to be done within the last two weeks we do have Merc the Mercury in retrograde um, continuing until June 11th I believe so if you have to absolutely have to do it within the last two weeks I would advise you to uh, have a clear itinerary and try to finalize everything you know within the first week of this month as well as um, keeping in touch with whoever it is that you are traveling with or who you are traveling to see because I do feel that surprises might be coming or information might come to light that would uh, cause delays, that could cause potential problems within this situation. If it's a family situation, I do feel there are definitely um, a lot of uh, people coming and going and a lot of structural changes and a lot of like major shifts within relationships, within, you know, um, in general, within relations. So, you know, try to finalize your... your um, destination try to finalize your itinerary and try to make sure that people are where they're supposed to be so that um, you can avert the the I guess the chaos in the ensuing last two weeks okay so um, the trip itself looks very good but at the same time it is surrounded by two three reverse cards so if we were to take a look like uh, at the situation like this okay it does indicate to me success and it does indicate the chariot it does indicate success it does indicate like travel as well or plans or even like um, purchasing new vehicles purchasing a new uh, mode of transportation it could be made mundane in that sense but what I do see is um, as a major arcana card it does indicate like an overarching theme which is success which is taking charge of your life which and this energy itself is very potent for implementing positive changes in your life. It's also indicative of um, you finally like stepping into the spotlight and demanding of your partner, of the people around you, of your work situation, of the people in your family, even um, not going with the flow anymore. So you're basically being proactive about taking control of your life, which is a very powerful energy and I feel that even in last month um, the last few months like especially for February and April things have been a little topsy-turvy where you're kind of pulled 
along with the tide and you feel that your free will, your human agency is kind of lacking. So this is a month in which you can restore that part of you and to take um, you have the ability to ch take charge of your life and to implement new plans and new projects and to forge ahead with relationships that are more conducive to your growth, okay? The only thing I want you to be aware of is um, this energy itself is an ongoing process, okay? So stepping up and demanding what it is that you want from other people is like the initial step, I guess. But in maintaining it, in uh, reasserting yourself through all your relationships, all your uh, all the situations you have to contend with in life, it is an ongoing process. So it's not going to stop through this month, okay? So you have to implement this throughout the month, and you have to like um, protect your boundaries and protect what it is that you hold dear to you throughout the rest of this month, and. Um, what I'm seeing in this situation is that um, you're going against the grain, you're going against the tide, and you are going to face a lot of, quite a bit of opposition from other people. However, it's, um, I guess, like, um, hardship does build character, okay? So it's important for you to, regardless of who you encounter, regardless of all the obstacles, you are on the right track and sometimes you have to overcome these obstacles in order for you to figure out what it is that is important to you, what it is you're willing or not willing to compromise on, okay? So these obstacles are there to help you hone in on and refine your goals and refine what it is that is important in your life, okay? So I hope that makes sense to you. But I do feel um, this is a situation mainly for all the pieces to fall into place before you can move forward. So for women, it might be a little more troublesome. For men, what I do feel is that um, you have your mind made up, okay? You have your mind made up about what it is that you want to do. And um, the people around you, if you're dealing with another woman, if, you deal, if your, your situation is somehow you know tied in with the life course of another woman. Um, I feel that um, she might be a little indecisive about what she wants to do. So you're at a, a major crossroad because you have to decide if you want to carry the weight with you or if you want to leave it all behind. I do feel that a lot of you are not um, are pretty sh certain about what you want to do so you're not very tolerant of indecisiveness from other people especially like in love relationships or in a work project okay so you're not as tolerant about it and if anything you tend to be um, you tend to like uh, for this month at least you are going to step up and basically um, decide what you want to do without the other person. So I do feel that situation coming in and I would advise you to um, so for men in general if you're in this situation I would advise you to be very clear with the other person that you're dealing with if they're operating from a place of like indecisiveness um, I feel that it has been an ongoing process okay so make sure that um, you tell them Give them a certain time frame in which they need to make up their mind before you choose to like um, proceed without them because I do feel that there are a lot of anxieties, there are hesitancies from their end for a reason because they're in a place of lack, okay? Lack of information, lack of resources, lack of access to the outside world. So um, it's an anxiety-inducing energy and you want to give the people the benefit of the doubt so make sure you get your point across, okay? So aside from that energy, what I do sense too is um, within the past, a lot of you had to contend with situations in which um, you put a lot of um, energy, a lot of emotions, a lot of stock, and it didn't come to fruition, okay? I do have the sun in the reverse position. It could also indicate like um, coming, recovering from like um, divorces, illnesses, and things like that as well. It's something that... Um, supposed to it's something that is supposed to give you like a great deal of emotional financial even um, support or even like a lot of success it didn't pan out the way you had ex anticipated so as a result 
this is a month in which, like I mentioned, there are going to be vital transformation. And it is important that you yourself decide what it is that you want to do. Um, decide for yourself how you want to forge ahead because I don't feel partnerships or people around you are going to give you adequate advice to make you happy in the long run. So um, make sure that you, you know, try to take the first two weeks and make up your mind then. And then really try to implement it, okay? So don't hold back and don't um, let others sway you because that's not going to be conducive for your own growth. You have to make decisions independent of, of other people, all right? And other people, frankly, will be a little bit problematic this month. Um, for those of you who are in a relationship with a fire sign, I do feel the fire sign is going to give you a lot of support and the fire sign being the Aries, the Leos, and the Sagittarius. The fire sign is going to be a huge um, pain, a lot of heartache, a lot of um, regret and sorrow. And I do feel that the situation itself cannot be repaired. So it is important for you to I guess like come to terms with this. This is a month in which you're going to need to basically come to terms with this because as soon as you do that, everything else will fall into place, okay? What I'm get, getting here is all the pieces, all the expenditures, all the pieces, all the, um, I guess all the, the, everything is falling into place. So there is a time and a place for everything else and it's contingent upon you coming to terms with the fact that this situation cannot be fixed. If you were to go back and fix it, and, and fix it, I do feel that um, you have to have, you have to do it like all or nothing. So if you have lingering attachments to other people outside of this situation and you were to go back and fix the situation, you're not going to be 100% invested, okay? So if you want to fix the situation, make sure you are in it 100% otherwise it's not going to work out so um, it's important to figure out where you want to direct your energy for this month and I feel that if for those of you who are forging ahead with new things you're on the right track so don't doubt yourself don't backtrack to a prior situation have faith that things will fall into place and especially within family situation we have a lot of um, deep-rooted history and um, you know just a lot of like um, contact with people who are in in our family um, environment so because of it it can also create a lot of friction and it's very deep rooted so resolving family situations are going to take a long time okay so I just want you to be aware that things will resolve on their own there is a time and a place for everything so just uh, let that go for now and focus on the things that are within your control such as you know st leaving the old jobs old um, partnerships old um, old ways of I just want you to be like totally decisive on this um, to figure out what it is that you want to move forward with and what it is that you can once and for all leave behind for good because as soon as I feel that making a decision you know is going to be like the major issue so once you make up your mind moving forward is not going to be a problem at all okay so I hope um, you have a wonderful month and you know try to keep things into perspective and you know really Figure out what it is that you want to move forward with and how you can completely sever ties from the past, okay? Because the future looks very bright, very promising, and you are going to be with people who are um, who care about you, all right? So just um, take it easy this month. Have a good month, and I will come back next week with a weekly reading and to try to flush some of these energies out and see what else uh, is in store, okay? So thanks for watching. And if you like a private reading, please email me at temperatestar at gmail.com. As well, the uh, I have a new website up. It can be found under this video in the box with the arrow, okay? So thanks for watching. See you soon.